हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द यूट्यूब चैनल प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज इन द प्रीवियस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल वी बी ए वेरियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द यूजेज ऑफ द इफ एल सिफ स्टेटमेंट्स एंड यूजिंग दोज स्टेटमेंट्स वी सो दैट वॉट इज द प्रोसेस थ्रू विच वी कैन एक्चुअली राइट द मल्टीपल क्राइटेरिया दिस वॉज द मल्टीपल क्राइटेरिया we saw that how can we actually match this criteria using the if else if statements that was the multiple conditions so in today's video uh, we are actually going to see a drawback that we could face while writing those conditions now what is this drawback uh in the previous video we uh, wrote about this uh, a11 cell so let's just make some corrections over here only suppose uh, if our score is less than 30 say if it is 12 now if we try to execute it then we get fail as an output similarly if we have any negative value say minus 90 as our answer and then we try to execute it then again we get fail but what if our condition is um, or our marks are not in the form of a numerical value suppose there are uh, some kind of words like a b c d then if we try to execute it then what we get is incredible as the result which is not correct the reason why we are getting because a b c d is a value which does not matches with any of the conditions so the else condition that we encounter over here is where it matches that is we get incredible as the answer but it is not correct so for that purpose we have to find a solution for this problem and the solution is using the and operator so uh, we have to write the same piece of code but this time we are going to write this piece of code with the help of the and operator now when we are using the and operator we have to simplify the conditions like over here we were given a criteria that whether uh, when the scores are between 30 to 50 that is we um, assumed it that when the scores are less than 50 we are going to give a third division similarly when the scores are less than 70 we are going to give a second division and so on but uh, whenever we are trying to use the and operator we have to have the well defined starting and the ending condition like in this case it is going to be if the scores are greater than equals 30 and the scores are less than 50 similarly we have to just resolve this condition as well that is we are not going to accept any of the negative numbers so our range is going to be from 0 to 30 in this case that is if the scores are greater than equals to 0 and they are less than 30 then we are going to give the result as fail and similarly uh, for 90 plus it does not means we can just give like 1000 as a marks out of 100 we cannot give 1000 marks if we give 1000 and try to run it again the result is incredible so we cannot give 1000 as a marks so we have to uh, define the boundaries uh, over here as well so it's going to be 90 till 100 okay then we are going to give incredible as the result so this is uh, how you can actually manipulate your criteria uh, to make sure that your code is more well understood so let's just create a new module go to the insert tab and insert a new module and that's the and operator so and op that's what is going to be the name of a module and let's create a sub procedure like this now we are going to write our code so let's write it if uh, we are actually going to use for uh, a range as um, a2 so if range a2 dot value so what i'm actually going to do is just uh, uh i'm just going to copy it because it's going to be okay um repeated again and again so if range a2 dot value is greater than equals to 0 and you got to write the and operator that is a and d and uh, again range a2 dot value is less than 30 then what do you need to do then in that case you need to write the value of range b2 dot value this value is going to be what fail since it's a string so you need to write in double quotes 
then what you need to do is specify the else if condition else if without a space okay so that um, you are able to uh, use it as else if statement instead of the nested statements range a1 sorry a2 dot value is greater than equals to 30 and range a2 dot value is less than 50 then again you need to nest it or indent it basically and then write range b2 dot value uh, in that case what is the value going to be it is going to be third division so that's how you are going to repeat it again and again so what you can do is actually just copy this else if statement and just paste it over here so this is going to be if it is greater than equals 50 and it is less than 70 then we are going to provide it with second division and again you can just paste it like here if it is going to be greater than equal to 70 and it's going to be less than 90 then it is going to be the first division and now uh, again we need to write the else statement because we have a condition if it is greater than equals 90 and less than 100 less than equals to 100 because it is possible that uh, people can get 100 marks as well so uh, in this case we are going to write incredible now uh, if this all criteria is defined then we are going to write this but it is possible that none of this criteria is met that is if you are getting an invalid output a negative number or a number greater than 100 or even a not um, not a number value okay then in that case we need to specify the else statement as well that is uh, so that we are able to get a clear error message if none of the conditions are met so in this case we are going to show the error message in a message box and that's going to show us that invalid score please check uh, within 0 to 100 range okay so this is an error message that um, is shown whenever you are getting an invalid input from the uh, user that is if the number is less than zero if it is greater than thousand or if it is not a number if it is a string value or something else and then you can simply end the if statement so that's how you can work with it and let's see right now uh, we have written for a2 right so it's 78 so let's just change it with uh, we are going to check with every value so first of all let's change it to 13 and try to run it okay uh, just a second okay uh, now we try to run it we get fail as the output which is perfectly fine now let's just increase it to say 45 now what we get is third division correct now let's change it to 56 then what do we get here is a second division perfectly fine then um, 89 with 89 what do we get here is okay sorry uh with 89 we get first division that's correct 99 with 99 what do we get here is incredible now let's provide it with invalid output say let's provide it with minus 80 then what do we get uh invalid score please check within 0 to 100 range so whenever i get this error message i remember that okay it might be incorrect so i go to check there and i can remove this error so suppose i want to write 80 as the marks so then i write 80 whenever i get this error message and then i get the correct result similarly if the number is greater than 100 say if it is 101 then also i get the error message that's correct and similarly if it is of any other type say if it is um, of text type then also i get this error which is that yes i cannot recognize microsoft excel cannot recognize it as a valid number so that's how your code should be 
to make sure that it matches each and every criteria and um, the reason why we are doing this because uh, whenever there is thousands of data then it is prone to give you some error and that's why we have done this so that's all for the video thanks for watching